Hey, welcome back to Automate with Rob. My name is Robert Whitaker. Today, we're going to dive into the world of Python dictionaries. And dictionaries give us an efficient way to store and organize our data inside of our script. So a dictionary in Python is defined by using curly braces and consists of key value pairs. So for example, let's create a dictionary that actually stores a person's information. So we're going to go inside of our script and we're going to create a variable name of person. We're then going to assign the person variable to a dictionary by enclosing the data inside of curly braces. And inside of those curly braces, we're going to create something called a key value pair. Now, the first part of the key value pair is referred to as the key. So here we have the name key and keys are always going to be enclosed in either single or double quotes. Next, we got the value. And so we're assigning the name key to a value of a string named John. And also notice the key and the value are separated by a colon. And we can add more key value pairs to our dictionary by using commas. So let's type a comma after our first key value pair. And we'll create the age key. And we're we'll going to assign the age key to an integer of 32. All right, so we created our dictionary. But the key takeaway from all this is, is if you're in a script, you see a variable assigned to curly braces with key value pairs inside of it. It's a dictionary and we can print out our dictionary using the print function. And then inside the print function, I can then specify, I want to print out all the key value pairs inside the person variable. So if we save our script, let's go ahead and run it. And I can see my script prints out all the data inside of my dictionary. Let's cover some important perspective to have when working with dictionaries. Okay. I want to un you to understand like why we use dictionaries. What are the benefits of them? I like to think of dictionaries as like our, our very own digital filing cabinet. So since we organize our data into keys and values, that enables Python to quickly access and easily retrieve the values we need. And, and let's think about the benefits of just a regular physical filing cabinet. So instead of digging through a messy stack of papers, it's much more efficient to organize our files into labeled folders, and then we can store those folders neatly inside of a filing cabinet. And then when you need a file, all you do is you simply look at the folder label and you find exactly what you need. There's no unnecessary searching involved. So in Python, keys work just like those folder labels. They help us locate values instantly, right? It keeps our data very organized and easy to access. So to retrieve a specific value in a dictionary, we can use something called indexing. And when we use indexing, we're gonna use square brackets in our script. So if I go back to line three of our script, I can go right next to the variable name and put in the name key in brackets. And this will enable me to only print out the value of the name key. So save the script, we then run our script, and I can see my script only prints out the value of the name key, which is John. And I can go back into the script and only print out the value of the age key instead. So if I save the script, I run it again. This time, I only print out the value of the age key, which is 32. All right, so hopefully you're starting to appreciate how dictionaries organize our data so we can retrieve values very easily. Let's now apply what we learned and look at a real world network automation script. So here's our script. And if you're new to Python, don't freak out about understanding every line of code in the script. Instead, I just want you to understand the big picture intent of the script, like what we're doing with it, but also understand how we're using dictionaries in the script. Now, the overall intent of the script is we're using this information to send a message to our router just to retrieve its host name. We'll then send our message to the router in this line of code. And finally, we're going to want to print out the response from the router. All right, next, we're going to focus on dictionaries used in the script. So I want you to carefully look at the script and tell me in which line of code do you see a Python dictionary? Feel free to pause the video to answer the question. And the answer is line nine. Okay, so in line nine, we have the headers variable. And notice the curly braces. We're assigning the headers variable to a dictionary that has one key value pair. The key is the accept key. And the value is application yang data JSON. Now, just for a little context in line nine, okay, remember, we're going to be sending that information to our router. And what we're telling our router in line nine is, hey, when you send me the host name back, when you respond back to me, I want us, your response to be in JSON encoding. So if we save our script and then run our script, the router sends back its host name in JSON encoding. 
All right, so in summary, dictionaries are efficient ways to store and access data inside our Python scripts, and they're frequently used in network automation scripts. All right, that's all I got. I hope you found this useful, and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thank you so much. Also, if you like this video and want to see more of these videos in the future, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel.